You might remember this ad from last month's Super Bowl. Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy. A jingle that worked six decades ago, reworked for a new era of Kennedys. This one, not as a Democrat like his uncle, but an independent, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the son of the New York senator and former attorney general, now seeking his own path to the White House. But what does he believe and can he actually win? Neither my uncle nor my father would recognize the version of America that we have today. RFK Jr. first made his name as a climate activist and lawyer in the 80s, before pivoting this century to pushing debunked lies that vaccines cause autism. To be crystal clear, this is not true. Scientists have proven that over and over again. But it hasn't stopped the 70-year-old Kennedy, especially since the COVID pandemic, repeatedly spreading misinformation, like his book, baselessly attacking Dr. Anthony Fauci. I pressed him on COVID and vaccines at a rally in Las Vegas last month. Would you have tried to stop the FDA from approving the, uh, the COVID vaccine? I would have said that they need to do science to show that the vaccine is actually going to avert more problems than it's, uh, that, than it's causing. But it's if you're president, you have agency uh, I would over make sure that there was good science and that any product, but I also would have allowed people to get access to therapeutics that were actually demonstrated to work, like ivermectin, like hydroxychloroquine. Again, doctors say ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine should not be used to treat COVID. But Kennedy could take advantage of the growing number of Americans who don't seek out vaccines to stop COVID. Just 28% of adults have gotten the latest vaccine, down from 69% when it came out in 2021, according to a new Pew poll. The question is, is there an appetite for him or any third party candidate? A new poll out today shows yes, with RFK pulling in nearly 9% of the vote, more than 20% going to someone who isn't Joe Biden or Donald Trump. But can people see him on the ballot? Right now, not many will. The campaign says it has enough signatures in just four states as they try to get on the ballot in all 50. That hasn't stopped Kennedy from preparing like he will be with a vice presidential announcement set in just two weeks. Names he's floated, New York Jets quarterback and fellow anti-vaxxer Aaron Rodgers. Vaughn is joining us now. So as we're on the topic of veep stakes, Vaughn, right. because that really is the next key political moment for both former President Trump and for, I guess, RFK Jr., you're getting some new little nuggets, we can call them, on that. What is the deal? Really, Aaron Rodgers? I thought he was going to be playing for the Jets come the fall. <laughs> he says he's going to play for the Jets come opening week in September. And, of course, we'll see at training camp what kind of shape he's in after missing most of last season. But, look, he's 40 years old. And, you know, there's maybe a presidential candidate offering him the number two slot. And the Kennedy campaign told us just 24 hours ago that the top two names on his list were not only Aaron Rodgers, the current New York Jets quarterback, but also Jesse Ventura, the former Minnesota governor and, of course, WWE wrestler. But just here in the last hour, the son of Jesse Ventura wrote back to me, quote, Governor Ventura will not comment on this particular political speculation. He has not been officially asked to join Mr. Kennedy's campaign as his vice presidential nominee, making all of this pure speculation. But just this afternoon, the Kennedy campaign, Hallie, announced that they will be holding a VP announcement rally on March 26th in Oakland, California, which is just 20 minutes from where Aaron Rodgers played his college ball at Cal Berkeley. Allie. Yeah, all right. We'll see. Fun Hilliard. Um, thank you very much. I know where you'll be in a couple of weeks. Really appreciate you Thanks, reporting friend. on that tonight. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.